Oh, so once again, welcome po sa C212 and this is the financial market and we are now in week 8 to 9. So week 8 to 9 you're low. So you're expected to quantify risk and analyze risk and return content. So this is actually in continuation with the different tools used in analyzing investment. So we're done with probability, we're done with value of information, we're done with uh, sensitivity analysis, we're done with the uh, ano pa yun, so simulation, uh, theory lang, ayaw lang yung simulation, the linear programming, theory lang po, and the decision tree, theory lang po. So the next one, if you're going to take a look at yung sa investment tools, no? So, the standard deviation and coefficient of variation. So, dito po yung discuss yung standard deviation. So, the standard deviation is used to quantify or measure the risks. Okay. So, the next one is yung beta. No? beta. So, yung beta here is yung capital asset pricing model. Uh, so, this is for the next ULO. So, let's start with ULO A. Quantify risk and analyze risk and return relationship. So, pag sinabi natin yung risk, this refers to uncertainty of the event, uh, uncertainty of the outcome of the event. So, refers to the chance of some unfavorable event will occur. Then, the expected portfolio naman, so, yung discussion natin way back sa week, ano ba yun siya? 5 to 6, uh, 6 to 7. So, we discussed the stand-alone computational expected return, which is ang katong individual, di ba ba individual? So you can actually use expected return in a form of portfolio. If you see portfolio, that is group of assets. So what you're going to do, you just weigh okay, average and expected returns from the individual asset of the group portfolio. The standard division naman, so yung sabi ko kanina, this is used to quantify the risk. Okay. So to measure the amount of absolute risk associated with the outcome. Coefficient of variation naman, so this is in continuation with standard deviation. Kasi nga, magbabase siya kung pila ang standard deviation. So the formula here is standardized measure of risk divided by per unit of the return, required rate of return. Nasabi ko kanina, portfolio, pag sinabi ni portfolio, this is the group of different assets. Okay. So portfolio risk naman, so this is the risk with regards to variability of the returns of your portfolio as a whole. And diversification, so you all know this one, diba? So investment must not be focused on one uh, company. You can also diverse the investment. Uh, it's kakatern yung investment to different companies. So that is diversification. Investing more than one type of asset to reduce the risk. Coefficient of variation of mine, so this is a relative statistical measure of correlation with regards to the risk associated with the investment. So we will discuss this one, one by one, here in ULO. Let's start with the basic concept of risk and return. So remember, diba, yung discussion yan natin is that the risk and return has a direct relationship. Kasi the higher the risk, expect for a higher return. And pag sinabi natin risk, refers the chance that some unfavorable event will Okay. Okay. So there is a risk whenever future outcomes is not certain. Okay. So now you're associated with that. So in finance naman, risk is associated with the variability of the asset. Okay. I say, did it fix ang return ng asset? So it may change depending on the state of nature, depending on the uh, nature of the economy of the business. So hence, there is a possibility that the actual return may differ from the expected return. The investment involves risk. Okay? So, this is sure, uncertain. Of what will be the expected? What will be the actual return? So, the greater the variability, siempre, the higher the risk. Kasi, mas malaki yung chance ng mga changes, no? Different changes. Which, uh, when actual return may be above or below the expected return, it should be noted that this is usually associated to probability. Kaya nga risk, ano? Probability of loss. So even earning less than the expected. So not all the time, it may true, no? The higher there is, the higher the return. Because it depends upon the economic situation of that business. So therefore, yun yeah, 
Missing term concept, relationship, investment risk is related to probability of the actual return less than the expected return. Uh, so, the gamay mong makuha kaysa sa ex expect ni mong makuha. And the greater chance of low or negative returns, the riskier the investment. So, generally, investors are usually as a big one, risk averse. So, which means that the as much as possible, investors are we are not uh, we not accept or even avoid risk. Pero kung mag-accept man daw sila, okay, kung persuade sila investors to invest, they will accept only investment that would compensate the risks. Okay. So risk and return have direct relationship with each other. So if the investment involves lower risk, Siyempre, ano pa example ng mga lower risk? Even risk-free investment no, kato sa government. Okay, treasury bills, treasury bonds, treasury notes. So you can expect that it will also give you lower returns. Kaya nga, direct relationship. So on the other hand, if the investment involves higher risk, you can expect that such investment will give you higher returns. But not all the time. Kasi it depends upon the economic situation of that particular investment center. So otherwise, you will not you know, plunge in the particular investment. Returns are higher for high-risk investment as compared to low-risk investment is because meron silang difference na tinatawag as risk premium. So the risk premium is the term used to compensate investors for taking the risks. And this risk premium, this will be discussed for the last yellow po Ito po yung discussion ng capital asset pricing model. Partly siya sa competition. So mayroong competition, mayroong formula for risk premium by the way. Okay. So we will discuss this one extensively on capital asset pricing model, yung CAPM. Then, using probability and probability distribution in evaluating investment. So this was discussed, di ba, last uh, exam, or last exam coverage natin. Discuss probability and probability distribution. This is just competition ng outcome multiplied by probability, mga pa expected outcome or expected value. Okay. So probability and probability distribution can be used in evaluating investment by computing the expected return. So in this case, this is in a form of percentage. Nusha. So as a result, assume that two investment projects are available for Mr. Martinez, who has 100,000 investable funds. So 100,000. So, mamili siya, it may be a investment ni XO Products Incorporated or di kaya investment kay Tagong Electric Company. So, based on the rates of return, so you do have here the data with the gross rates of return of the two companies. Okay, so, you do have here XO and C, Tagong Electric Company. Okay. So, to compute for expected return, so in this case, ako percentage siya, no? So, multiply nyo lang po, 0.30, which is the probability, multiplied by 100 na expected rate of return. So, you do have, uh, multiply by 100 as the rate of return based on the state of nature na boom. So, meron siyang 30%. The normal, 0.4 multiplied by 15, so na siya 6%. 0 0.3 multiplied by points, ah, uh, 70%, so na siya 21% negative. So add mo lang, total expected return on each state of nature, that is the expected value of the outcome. So meron sa 15%. Do the same way, Tago Malachi Company, no? multiply the probability based on the rate of return on each state of nature. So boom, normal recession. So meron siya 6, 6, saka 3, and same 15%. Di ba, remember sa discussion natin, we choose usually uh, yung investment na mayroong higher okay, expected return. But in this case, if you're going to take a look at this one, they are they have the same okay, expected return. So they are indifferent. The decisions now are indifferent. So it may be you are going to choose XO product or di kaya tago malachet company since they have the same expected value of outcome. Diba? Kasi usually, ito gina-discuss itong previous discussion is based kung saan na pinakadak ko na expected value mo, ito siya ang best outcome. 
But in this case, same sila. So what will be the other way you're going to take a look at this one? Siyempre, tanawan niyo mo ang ilahang expected rate of return. Take a look at this one. Okay? If uh, Mr. Mr. Martinez Tutsus, based on the variability or the riskiness of the investment, Mr. Martinez would choose Tago Electric Company. Well, it's because take a look at this one. Positive lahat na expected return in whatever state of nature. Unlike with this one kasi, the expected return based on the state of nature merong negative and ang laki ng difference ng pagka-negative niya. So medyo risky ito investment ni Exoprada kasi okay, take a look at this one. Mas variable. Mas malaki yung changes na interest rates or the expected rate of return of this investment as compared to expected return here in the Tago Monetary Company. Okay. So, based on this one, based on the variability of the uh, rate of return, so, tag, uh, Mr. Martinez may choose Tago Monetary Company. Okay. So, actually, mo na siya diri kaso ka. Nag-discuss diri ako. Mo na siya tanan. Yoyo niya diri. Mo na siya tanan diri ako. Okay. So, yeah, with this, this average investor would normally decide it will be better to invest in Tagum Electric Company because it will give the same expected return and it has lower risk. Kasi nga, take a look at this. Masya lang yung positive lahat. As compared to XO product, meron siyang negative and grabe yung difference nila no, when it comes to the expected rate of return. So medyo risky ito kaysa kay Tago Malagpo Company. Okay ba? Or napapun mo dira guys? Ano mo kanya yung gibiyaan no? Wala man sir. Ano yung mamayaan sir? Sorry, sana all. <laughs> sige, sige. Okay ma. Pusin na ako sa katulong. Dara, expected portfolio of return. So yung kanina, it's individual, right? Individual, stand alone. So in the previous section, the expected return is computed, applic applic is applicable for a stand alone investment. Okay. So how about though, if the stocks is usually held in portfolio? So you can actually compute this one using, ito po, expected return of the, or expected portfolio returns. Madali lang po ito. For example, an investor who has 100,000 investable funds and decide to diversify his investment. So diversify means to invest in different uh, different na mga uh, assets no your investment. So 100 ang 50 ani kay kay Jollibee, 25 kay Ayala, and 25 kay Dito. So mo yung ginabuhat dati sa ano diba sa na uh, ano nung no, si pangalan nato gano'n no? paper trade no which is ang paper trade kasi timing ka ayaw class kaya nag down <laughs> murang I think pagka Wednesday ito nag down ang paper trade na wala na gano'n siya kaya gano'n kumakas ba ninyo timing na gano'n humanat ah so 50 25 25 so nasa 100,000 so based on this one you can compute the percentage of allocation so how per how much percentage is yung GFC to the total. So therefore, madali lang itong 50% because 50,000 divided by 100 sinasay 50%. Divide lang nimo mo. So 25,000 divided by 100,000 sinasay 25%. 25,000 divided by 100,000 sinasay 25%. So 50% yung allocation for Jollibee. 25 a uh, percent for both Ayala and Dito respectively. Okay, uh, so 100. So, what is the need for this one? Yung allocation. Kasi this will be parang probability natin mamaya. Take a look at this one. Huh? Ito. So, assume that the rate of return for each uh, stocks of the portfolio is as follows. So, GFC 10%, 15%, and 5%. So, expected return in portfolio can be computed as follows. So, percentage of allocation here, which is 50%, 25%, 25% as computed kanina. Diba? Then, multiply lang ni mo sa rate of return. 10%, 15%, 5% given. 
additional data. So you can compute for the expected rate of return, 5% for GFC, always 3.75, data for 1.25 for a total of 10%. So para lang siyang kanina, di ba? Change this one for percentage of allocation. Okay, or change from probability into percentage of allocation. Change mo lang si law process. Okay. So another another restriction here, assuming that the Robinson Land Corporation is evaluating two opportunities, so each having the same initial investment, so the project is and return characteristics as as follows. So project E and project F, so they are proportionate equally. So therefore, therefore divided by two or fifty percent, fifty percent kay E, fifty percent kay F. So in mo lang structure percentage of allocation. 50%, 50%, multiplied by rate of return, the, the expected return of the portfolio is 0 0.15 or 15%. So, madali lang yun siya. Ang Bibo de Rea class, ito, muna ni siya ako ang uh, discussion ko de Rea, you know, pinaka, the standard deviation. Okay. So we're done with probability, we're done with value of information, we're done with simulation, we're done with uh, sensitivity analysis, the regression, the ano pa ba? Yung sa decision tree, and we are now in standard deviation and coefficient of variation. Ayan. So in the previous sections, it was noted that the riskiness of the investment can be gauged in the variability of the returns. So you can actually take, observe nyo lang yung differences na mga returns of the investment. Pero, you can actually observe that one, the variability of returns, by using or by quantifying the risks. So in this section, we will discuss how we can quantify risks using standard deviation. But remember, yung quantify risk, this was the ULO. So we were going to focus more on standard deviation. How to compute for standard deviation and even yung pangalawa coefficient of variation. So standard deviation for now si sigma so this one ito yung standard deviation hindi na ko siya matype dari yung ako sulat. So it is a statistical measure of the variability of the probability of the solution around expected value. So it can be used as a measure of the amount of absolute risk associated with the outcome. So you can quantify the risks. Pila ka percentage ang risks by using standard deviation. The standard deviation also measures the tightness of probability distribution. And this is actually yung, I don't know if you can still remember this one sa statistics niya. Ito yung bell shape. Okay, naka-bell. Ito yung sa madrawing mo, yung naka-bell shape. But we will not we will not focus on how to draw yung bell shape na kasi pang start We will focus on the combination of standard deviation itself. Okay. So the range of the difference between the highest and the lowest uh, in value in the solution is relatively small. Thus, take a look at this one. Ito yung focus natin. Kasi more on risk po tayo. So thus, the smaller the standard deviation, the tightier the probability distribution the smaller the range of return, and siyempre, the lower the risk. Okay, so usually we decide as a risk averse person. No? So, if it's averse, we no? We accept only lower risk. So therefore, ang we accept na to is katong investment which has a smaller standard deviation. Okay? So there are two times. So, muna ito ang na gold react isang smaller. So, itong expected value, higher mo ito, no? Diria, standard deviation is smaller. Smaller standard deviation. That will be the uh, investment that we will accept. So, there are two types of probability distribution. So, yung bell shape, it may be symmetrical yung bell shape. It has good to the left or good to the right. A symmetrical distribution is that half of the distribution or yung bell shape, half of that one is a mirror image of the other half. So, equally. Equal. It's good the which is half of the distribution is not near image of the other half. It may be greater, it may be less than. So it is to be noted, a property is measure of the variability 
only if the probability solution is reasonably symmetrical. So also, when you are to compare different investments using standard deviation, the size of the initial investment and the expected value of the probability distribution should be equal to make the risk comparison. Okay. So, yeah, sabi niyo natin, the higher the higher the standard deviation, the higher the risks. The lower the standard deviation, the lower the risks. Okay. So now, we will discuss how to compute standard deviation. So, meron po siyang steps. Ano yung pinakabibo din yung mga part? So, dali naman niya sa inyo, ha? Number one, compute for the expected value. Number two, subtract the expected value from each possible return. Number three, square the deviation. Number four, multiply the square deviation by the probability of occurrence and then add. And then that is the variance. And the last one, take the square root of the variance to get the standard deviation. So let's try to use this one using the standard deviation of the XO product. Okay, so we will quantify the risk of XO, XO products in group A. Ayan. So, as you took me exactly, ano ba itong dito? Okay, okay lang ha. Okay. Ayan. So, this was the given kanina. No? So, to compute for the standard deviation, so nasa right side. Okay, so. Wala mo siya natabunan sa inyo ha, ang video, no? Natabunan sa inyo ang video. Ano pa mo dala, guys, no? Napa, sir. Klaro man, sir. Napa, sir. Yes, okay. So, first one. Ang sagali nga, first one, ganit, gariya. Pabasa na lang ako, guys. Si si Lazar. Ang first one, number sir. one. Number one, compute the expected value. Okay, thank you. So as you can see here, we're done with this one. So the number one. Because this was, ito yung nasa table kanina. So nasa left side, no? So XO product. Remember this one, diba? This was the first discussion here. The competition. The state of the economy, multiplied uh, probability of occurrence, multiplied by the rate of return, and the suspected rate of return. Therefore, the answer for number one, in computing the expected value, that is 15%. So, 15% po yung expected value of the outcome. So, this will be used later on sa number 2. Yeah, number 2. Ano sa number 2 dyan yan? Si Felio Aliza. Yes, sir. Kasi pa. Makita yung number 2? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Subtract. Ah, sige na, sir. Ay po. Subtract the expected value from each possible return to obtain the deviations. Nice, thank you very much. So as you can see here, uh, ito po yung number two. Ayan. Yun may nakakulor-kulor ako. Ito, number two. This is the entire number two. Diba, in each state of nature, so si Boom, si Norma, si Recession, meron na si like kanya-kanya nga rito. Okay. So, kasi kikan yun, 100%, 15%, 70%, so na rin siya just given na sa dahan. Copy lang yun, copy paste lang yun. Okay, so ano sabi niya, subtract the expected value, yung 15%, from each possible return to obtain the deviation. Okay? So, subtract 15%, each Okay. Each return na. Each return of the uh, state of nature. Okay, man, yung tingog. So, 100% minus 15% so na siya yung 5%. So, yung pag-compute nyo ko sa ayos sa i-decimal. As is lang ang percent. Okay? So, kumbaga, 100 minus 15 na siya. So, 85, copy lang ang percent. So, 85%. 15 minus 15, 0%. Negative 70 minus negative 15. Ano, 85 months are. Siyempre, this is yung sign, di ba? So, negative and then negative 85. Okay? So, 85. Negative 85. So, that is for number 2, ha? Copy lang ito ang return. Then, minus the computed number 1 expected value. 15, 15, 15. Okay? 
So next, let's have your number three. So number three na dapat ba? Saan ko bihan mo ba siya? Aso, mm-hmm. sunod na lang ni. Si Pamaos. Aljan. Sa number three, sir. Yes po. Kwan, sir. Square each division, sir. So, kanang 85%, 0%, o negative 85% kay squared lang na to, sir. Oh, okay. Thank you po. No, Pamaos. I'm from 6. Pwede na ganun niya, boy. Sana all. Okay. So, as you can see here, squared lang po yung result kanina. Rose. Uh, ano ba ito? Difference kanina. Yan, difference. So, 85. Multiply by itself, no, kasi hindi ko alam yung formula for squared sa so, exit. So, multiply by itself, 7, 2, 2, 5. So, literally, kaya ko sa 85, ay sa i-percentage siya, 85, 85 lang sa 85 times 85, so, na siya 7, 2, 2, 5. Okay, so, 85 squared, yung mga squared yun yun, so, 7, 2, 2, 5. So, syempre, a 0 multiplied by 0, so, then, 85 times, ne, ah, negative 85 times negative 85, syempre, positive na diba sa rule of integer. If you multiply the same sign, so the result is, or the product is positive. So, 7 to 2, 5 more positive. Okay, so we're done with number 3. Again, yung number 1, expected value with this one. Ito yung table. Second one, ano yung second one na? Subtract. The rate of return in each state of nature by the expected value as computed sa number 1. And this is the difference. In number 3, yung difference daw, or yung deviation, is squared. Ayan. 75%, 0, 75. So that's not mean na, just not mean na the same na ang boom huwag yung recession na, kaya 75, 75. Dili, dili ha? Na timingan lang niya siya, dili ang aparehas. Dili pasabot na parehas, dili silang duha. Si boom, you can see recession, 7 to 12 times. So, timingan lang ni Daria. Okay, not all the time, ha? Okay, let's have number 4. Okay, number 4. Let's have C. What's the number 4, Daria? Yeah, ayop. Yeah, C, ayop, no, ayop. Dave Earl. C. Salam sa ayop. Um, for multiply each, my what? Multiply each squared deviation in its probability of occurrence, such, and then add the result is called the variance, which is the standard deviation squared. Okay, thank you very much, folks. I hope as you can see here, number four is this one to not a polar. So, kumbaga, 7 to 2, 5 multiplied by the probability. So, sige ka na probability na. Ito sa table ka ganyan. 0. 0.3, 0. 0.4, saka 0. Multiply mo lang. That is the um, result. Then, this one, 0. This one, same. And then, don't forget, my continuation po siya. Add. Add mo lahat. So, 216 plus 0. Uh, 2168 plus 0 plus 2168 na siya 4335. And ang tawag sa 4335 is the variance. Yan variance. So variance means the squared of the standard deviation. So therefore, if squared di siya, to get the standard deviation is a number 5. Saan number 5? Saan si Peria? Clarice and Enpo. Nasi Peria. Si Clarice and. Hello Peria. Miss Peria. Miss Clarice and. Hello guys. Mudog mo ko no? Uh, yes, sir. Miss Elijah na lang. Elijah. Take the square of the variance to get the standard deviation. 
Okay, so thank you very much. As you can see here, squared, uh, square root of the variance of 48.5, that is the standard deviation, 65.24. Okay, so that is the process in computing standard deviation. So again, compute the expected value. That's one. The probability. Second one, subtract the expected values, expected value from the rate of returns on each state of each work. Then the difference, it will be squared. Ayan. So squared. And then after squared, ano yung pangapat? Multiply square division by the probability. This one, add mo lahat, that is the variance. And squared mo, that is the standard division. Okay? So, wala pa ni siya yung meaning, no? It's because wala nang tayo makompare. Dapat na tayo makompare. O niya? Ah, yung time naman dahil, baka next meeting na lang. Let's discuss muna. Ako na lang isang kasi, okay, sumpay, ramagun yung sila, good. Can is standard division, ah, coefficient of variation. Okay? So, this is just uh, unit. Per unit basis, this per unit. So coefficient of variation is another useful measure of risk. It is a standardized measure of risk per unit of return. So as formula suggests here, yeah. standard deviation divided by expected return. So the standard deviation or the coefficient of variation for XO is standard deviation niya, magkano standard deviation niya, di ba, as computed, 65.84 divided by the expected return as computed at number one, not 15%. So that's why it has a coefficient of variation of 4.35. And wala pa ni siya meaning kasi we cannot compare this one. Otherwise, na additional data for the investment. And if you're going to take a look at your, ano, your module, okay. sabi niya kasi dyan, so this was a discussion, no? So, hence, XO product standard deviation 65.84%. For this to be meaningful, try to compute for standard deviation tago monetary company. Share computation in the last sex section in this manual. So, this is data, you know. Ikaw pa rin mag-compute sa isa tago monetary company. Okay, let's, number five minutes now, let's try the OB. Katong kay electric company. Asa man kaya? Tara. Yung din yung table na yun. Okay. Aha. Wait lang ha. Let's try to compute this one. Ayan. Mobile copy. Ayan. Kadaling job fifty, tanay five percent, five percent. Kadalings. Okay, okay. So the first one, iba the first na competition is the. Uh huh. The first competition is the expected value. So number one, automatic fifteen percent. Okay, fifteen percent pa ng yung ano, ang yung expected value of the other. Second one is subtract the expected value from each possible return. So, kung sa'kin yung mga returns dali na, guys. Okay, boom, normal. Boom, normal, and recession. So, pila man yun siya. This is 20%, right? This is 15. And this is 10. Ah, 10. Positive, guys. Okay, so as you can see here, 20 minus 15, so nasa ay 5%. Diba? 5% difference. Kasi the second one, number 2, subtract the expected values. One. For a... Based on each possible return. Then this one naman, zero. Then this one is negative five. So squared mo ito, guys. So five. So I know five. That is 25%. Siyempre zero. Multiply by zero. Zero percent. The negative five. Multiplied by negative five. That is 25%. So what's next after this one? Multiply number four. Multiply each square division by probability of returns. So, 
Multiplied by the probabilities, same lang probabilities mo, 0 0.30, 0 0.4, tsaka, so multiply that one, point, uh, 25% times 0.10 na siya, 8%. Then kay Drea, 0, 25 times 0.3, tama ba? 25 times 0.3 is 8%. Okay, so to check that one, di, 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 di ko mag-go lagi ng calculator, ang kakuha na diyan. Huh? Ah, 7.5 or 8%. So add mo lang lahat, that is 15% as the variance. What's next after this one, guys? This one, it will be okay, square root ng 15%. Sa pila man eh. Square root, na ba ni? Square root ang calculator. Ah, na di ay. Okay, good. Isa man itong 15. So 15, this is 15. Squared, so nasa 3.8729. So okay, or 3.87%. 3.87%. So if you're going to compare yung kanina, magkano yung standard, this is the standard deviation of Tagum, Tagum Electric Company. And the standard deviation kanina for this one, for, uh, sino nga ito siya? Si XO, no? XO. So based on this one, if you're going to quantify that one, mas risky, isa ang mas risky sa ilaga ni? Si? XO, uh, sir. XO, no? Kaya siya man na na yung pinakadako ang standard deviation. As compared to Tago Malectic, it is just 3.87. Okay, so if you're going to compute this one, the coefficient of variation, maduwi lang po ito. 3.87 divided by 15, so nasa ay 0.36. So, grabe kababa niya na ang coefficient of variation, 0.36. Okay? So, any question po dito, guys? Sa uh, hmm. so, derivation of coefficient of variation. Ano yung question dito yan, guys? Or okay pa mo, guys? Malaban pa mo, guys? Ginawa ko man, sir. Now, pa. Uh, so if you're going to take a look at actually the, ano, the answers can be for the ano, coefficient of variation. coefficient of variation is the ano, guys. Coefficient of variation. So, if you're going to take a look at 4.39 and 4.6. So, 0 0.26 and 4.30. Okay? So that is that the coefficient of variation provides more meaningful basis for comparison and the expected returns on two or more alternatives are not the same. So based on the above computation, okay, and so product is almost